In this lesson, we're going to cover some of the most common types of lead wire that you'll come across when you're installing your pickups. Let's dive right in. One of the things that you'll find quite a bit is this, especially on our vintage style pickups, is this cloth pushback wire. And this cloth pushback wire is really nice to work with because it's pre tin it has a pre tin wire in it. So, and like the name says, all we have to do is push back the cloth portion of it, this outer cover here, and that'll expose that wire, and then we can hook that up to the, our terminals or lugs on our potentiometer. With pickups, there's going to be two types of wire. There's going to be a ground, and there's going to be a hot lead. And so with this pushback cloth wire, we have the hot lead is going to be this yellow wire. Sometimes it's like a white uh, wire, like in this uh, Jazzmaster pick pickup here. You can see it's got a black and a white, where this one's got on this tele pickup, we have a yellow and a black. And the black is generally going to be your, your ground. Now every pickup manufacturer has different color coding, so make sure that you look up what those specs are on that particular pickup. So in this case, we have, uh, for the Seymour Duncan, we have the black as our ground, and our yellow is going to be the hot uh, lead wire. So they both need to be connected to the proper location. So the ground needs to be grounded and as you would assume the hot needs to be connected to the proper terminal or lug on the potentiometer. Here's another example of, of some cloth pushback wire and this is our Antiquity Retrospect Jazzmaster pickup and it works just like any other ones. It it's comes pre tin and you can push back that cloth and then hook, a, uh, hook it up to the correct terminal. Again, every pickup is going to have a hot and a ground. So if you're installing a Jazzmaster, that's what, that's what you want to keep in mind, is locate where that hot lead is connected to the terminal or the, or the pot, and then making sure that there's the ground is properly grounded to the right location, whether it's the back of the potentiometer, or uh, sometimes the casing of the switch or something like that. So make sure that those connections are in the proper place. Here's some strap pickups here. As you can see, the, all the hot leads are together here, and this would can go connect to the five-way switch where the, these ground wires here are, would be connected to the back of the potentiometer. Another type of wire that you'll come across a lot is wire that looks like this that uses a plastic cover on, their, on, the, on the cable versus that cloth pushback wire. And if it hasn't already been stripped, you will need to strip this wire, especially if you're shortening the wire. You'll also need to tin these types of wires because they don't come pre-tinned like the pushback cloth wire. But it works the same. There's going to be two wires. There's going to be a hot lead and there's going to be a ground wire. And you'll find this on, on a lot of our more newer uh, single coil style pickups. Another thing that you'll come across is a vintage style single conductor hookup wire or lead wire. And this can be found on a single coil pickup like on our P90s, looks like this, or our vintage spec humbucker pickups like this Antiquity Retrospect humbucker, you can see. The way this hookup wire works is that there are two wires kind of wrapped in one, if you will. And we have a hot lead, which is the center wire here, and it has a cloth shield to it, but this, these types of wires are not pre-tinned, so just keep that in mind. You will need to tin this wire. But the outer braid here, you'll need to ground to the back of the potentiometer. And the way that would look is, if I connect, if I show you on a potentiometer, is it would look something like this. The, the hot lead would connect to the outer lug. Let me just wrap this. This, needs, this wire needs to be tinned but the, it would connect it there. And then the braid would need to be grounded to the back of the potentiometer. And something you want to keep in mind when you're working with this type of lead wire is that this braid, if you solder to the, in, a, in the wrong location, that braid can come unraveled and actually short out the, one of the hot leads here. So be careful. The best solution for this, and we'll show in a, in a later lesson, is to solder at the end of that braid here so it doesn't accidentally unravel and 
touch one of the hot leads. So just keep that in mind. What you can do with this type of braid is that you can pull it back. You don't need to cut it, and then you can twist it, and that will keep it in place. And again, you will want to make sure that you solder it in the proper location. Another kind of issue that this type of wire can have is that sometimes that extra cable can get wrapped around and actually short out the hot lead. So be careful when you're using this type of wire because it can cause those types of problems. You can use some shrink tubing to wrap around the cable to kind of help protect that braid so it doesn't short out anything. A real common type of hookup wire or lead wire is the four conductor. And there's technically five wires coming out of this, and this is one of our Nazgul pickups. We have a lot of pickups that you can get in a four conductor. Basically what the four conductor allows you to do is to get more wiring options out of your pickup. So whether you wanna, maybe you wanna split the pickup, or you wanna do some different types of phase wiring, you can do that with this four conductor. And, but maybe you just wanted to work in the standard humbucker operation. That's easy to do. You need to connect a couple of wires, one of which would be the white and red wire here. And make sure that you have some shrink tubing around that that protects that so that doesn't short out anything. And the black wire is gonna be your hot lead. And the, you'll have to connect the bare wire with the green wire. So if we were to connect it very similar to our single conductor, wire, you would basically connect the black wire to the lug and then the green and bare wire needs to be grounded to the back of the potentiometer or possibly a, a, another ground location. Sometimes it's a switch, but generally it's going to be the back of the potentiometer. So this will give you the standard normal humbucker operation. And if you decide you want more wiring options down the road, you can still utilize those other wires to connect to, let's say, a push-pull or even a switch to be able to access some of those advanced wiring.